Christ's victory is ours. Isaiah 53 verses 11 and 12. He shall see the labor of his soul and be satisfied. By his knowledge my righteous servant shall justify many, for he shall bear their iniquities. Therefore I will divide him a portion with the great, and he shall divide the spoil with the strong. Because he poured out his soul unto death, and he was numbered with the transgressors, and he bore the sin of many, and made intercession for the transgressors. The 53rd chapter of Isaiah is a chapter that prophetically speaks about Christ's work on the cross. It speaks about what Jesus Christ completed on the cross where he was crucified. And in the 12th verse that we read, there's an interesting statement that's made. It says that he, the Messiah, will divide the spoil with the strong. So it has the picture of a warrior who has won a great conquest and he has captured the enemy and acquired great spoil or great things that he has got as a result of this victory. But he is going to divide the spoil, meaning he's going to share the spoil with people who, uh, who are referred to here as the strong ones, people who are enjoying that victory that the Messiah has won. What does this tell us? It tells us that Christ's victory has been distributed or given to us, the strong ones, people who believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. So as a believer, you need to understand deep down in your heart that everything Christ Jesus did on the cross, he did it for you, for you to walk in. He has divided the spoil of the strong. That means he has distributed that victory. He has given that victory to you as a believer. He has crushed the head of the serpent, not for his own sake, but for you. He didn't need to do it. He is already God. He disarmed the principalities and powers, not for his sake, but for you. He destroyed the one who had the power of death, not just for his, not for his sake, but for you. He is the one who says all authority has been given to him in heaven and earth. And he did that for you. And that's why he says, go in that authority. See, this is so important for us to understand that he, whatever Christ has accomplished on the cross, he has given it to you. So when you face the enemy, you are facing it on the basis of what Jesus did on the cross. That is the basis on which we rebuke the devil or we resist the devil or we destroy the devil's works. It's the finished work of Christ on the cross, which has been given to you and me. Let's walk in the, the power of the cross. Let's walk in the victory Jesus Christ gained for us at the cross over the enemy. Let's pray. Father, right now I pray for everyone listening. And I take authority over every evil work that might be troubling them. And by the power of the finished work of Christ on the cross, I set them free right now in Jesus' name. I command sicknesses to go emotional problems to be made whole and the finished work of the Christ, of Christ on the cross to impact their lives in Jesus name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.